Hello, shalom. It is I, Mr. Bruce Daniel Weaver the third, reigning Mr. Young Life Champion 2011. And I'm here just to share a little bit of my life, what it's been like after being crowned Mr. Young Life 2011. Ever since I was crowned Mr. Young Life, just, you know, almost a year ago, I just really developed this passion for just canines, you know, walking them, training them, hanging out with them. You know, I can honestly say they really are man's best friend. So I've also developed this passion for gardening. You know, some people call me Mr. Green Black Thumb, crazy, but it's stuck. Just, I think of my garden as like the Garden of Eden. It's just luscious green plants. I really developed this passion for fine cuisine, you know, cooking. You take, metaphorically speaking, you take all these ingredients and you put it in this pot, this big old pot that I like to call Jesus. You know, Jesus is holding all these ingredients together to make something perfect. It's perfection. That's how I think of my life ever since I've been crowned Mr. Young Life. You know, I've also developed this fine taste for film, just film that challenges my soul, challenges my mind, challenges my heart. And I just feel like lately what I've been watching has just been bringing out my inner being, the raw Bruce Weaver, the raw person that I am. It's just pour, it just makes me pour out. It brings out my inner animal instincts, my inner tiger, like ah. So taking up reading scripture, just taking it seriously, it just feeds my soul, feeds my soul. I just get lifted up, lifted up like Simba among many, just going, here I am world, take me as I am. Gosh, it just, it means the world to me. Ever since I graduated college, I got a job working full time and just, you know, 40, 50 hours a week is so grueling, but my job, I work with kids and just, I've realized that these kids are the future. They're the future of Mr. or even Mrs. Young Life of 2025. And just, that's a big responsibility that I can just put a little hand in their life and touch their hearts and just make a difference in their lives. And just, it's so rewarding. It just feeds my inner being, my inner soul. You know, whenever we're in front of a camera, I like to think of myself as just a misused ball of clay, just being molded and molded. Maybe draw a little smiley face, maybe a little heart on the other side, or maybe, uh, I love you, Bruce, on it. And I was being molded into perfection, being the perfect person that I am today, Mr. Young Life. Contestants, I just hope over this last year I've been the perfect role model, the perfect Mr. Young Life, to where something you can look up to and look after. And all I can really say in this competition is, may the odds ever be in your favor.